Hey, what's up? BQ here. Welcome back to the channel. We're about 15 subscribers away from the next milestone of 5,500. So if you're a first timer, please consider subscribing to the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. So most of you probably saw this yesterday. Impact put out, uh, I'm going to say a tweet. We could say it's a press release, but only a couple websites pick this up. Um, but they put out a tweet, a social media post that they have a show, show called, uh, excuse me, show coming out called Aftershock. Now, if you know anything about the way that I've reviewed Impact over the years and the way I've covered it and my opinions on it, you already know that this concept I have is not something that interests me and it's not something that excites me. But I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to communicate that to you, but looking at the positives, first of all, I'm glad they are coming out with some kind of content based on the the current product, the current roster. So that's good. I like the Aftershock name because it's not talking impact, talking about impact, after impact, or you know, you know what I'm saying? It's at least a little something different as far as the name goes. So I kind of like that. I, I like that quite a bit, actually. It's actually a great name. And then Josh Matthews isn't involved. And this isn't a knock on Josh Matthews, but when you only hear Josh Matthews talk about impact all the time, you know, you tend to kind of tune him out after a while. And even if you look at the Impact Lounge, uh, obviously I'm the constant because this is my channel, but over the years I've brought in different voices and different podcasters to change up the perspective and the way that the information is delivered to the Impact fans. But with Impact, it's always Josh, 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 and then a little more Josh on top of that. And you got to freshen things up. So this is going to be with Don Callis and Jimmy Jacobs. You know, you've got the Jimmy Jacobs erogenous photo on the on the um, announcement, which leads us to believe that's the character we're getting, which we're not. We're probably just getting the backstage interview interviewer, Jimmy, who is just a normal dude on Impact Television. So, um, you know, those are, those are some of the, the positive things about it. It's good to get some kind of content. It's going to stream everywhere, Twitch. Um, all, all their social platforms and everything. So that's that's good. At least they're getting in the habit and hopefully creating good habits of um, content creation. Here's my concerns. They've tried many times over the years to do this kind of thing. And I'm not talking about reaction. I'm, I'm talking about after that. They've tried after shows on Twitch, on YouTube. Um, Josh Matthews has done multiple, tried multiple podcasts, radio shows, um, even streaming live from Facebook. There's, they, they've tried this many times. It's fizzled out very quickly just due to lack of interest, you know, because there's no, there hasn't been any real like value. I don't think kayfabe review shows are fun at all. And if we, here, here's my problem. So we're going to look at the YouTube channel, for instance, like they'll put a YouTube out video out that says Havoc annihilates Madison Rain. Well, we have no reason to click on that video if we watch the match. And then if we didn't watch the match, we still have no reason to click the video because you already told us you won. You know, so I'm, I'm, ne I'm just never big into kayfabe recaps. You know, at the beginning of an Impact show, that's one thing. But after that, I don't think it works. So if we already watched the Impact show and you're just reviewing the show, kayfabe, why would we want to watch it? And then if we didn't watch the show and we watched the review show, why would we want to go back and watch the program, the actual Impact show? You know what I mean? So I want to I want to approach it with some degree of optimism, because, and I don't want to write it off right away, because obviously this show hasn't aired, and nobody knows exactly what it's going to be. So maybe it comes on, and it's this really entertaining show. Now, you know my WWE knowledge is not strong, but I remember years ago watching the pay-per-views and for a little while they would do like a segment beforehand for like 30 minutes where I want to say a wrestler was in a studio and they were, he was him or her was reading twit, uh, reading and answering Twitter questions. I found that actually really entertaining at the time. And then I never watched the talking smack show, but from what I understand that was really entertaining. So if it's something like that, cool, you know, th there's things you can do to make the show entertaining. You know, if there's interviews and, and things like that, but if it's kayfabe, it's just an, a, an extension of the Impact show. And I don't think it's going to work. And I think it's going to fizzle out really, really quickly. Um, and, and again, it's, it kind of goes back to the history of them trying to do these things. 
My biggest concern though, where I'm not, why I'm not overly optimistic about this is that when they put out the announcement, if there was anything with this show to make it worth watching and that was different, they would have told us because your initial announcement is when the most eyes are always going to see it. After that, you know, the engagement levels or the reach levels, I should say, go down drastically. But when the initial announcement comes out, that's when all eyes, all ears are available. And all they said was Don Callis and Jimmy Jacobs after show, after shock, no other information on top of that. So that tells me that they don't have anything special planned. This is not going to be very different. It's just going to be a recap show. I hope it's not. But if I have to go for my experience and my knowledge, if it was if it was going to be different, if it was going to be ex- engaging, they would have communicated that to us and they didn't. So that's my biggest concern with the whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But again, I'm going to keep a degree of optimism and uh, you know, maybe it's something that we have interest in. I I'm going to lean towards it's not going to be very good because I think it's a kayfabe review show. I don't know the facts. So we're just going to have to see what happens. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I will talk to you soon. Peace.